Yes, and viewers, welcome to my video lecture. Myself, Dr. Roshan Parihar, Assistant Professor, Genetics and Plant Breeding at Barrister Thakur Chidilal College of Agriculture and Research Station under IGKV, Raipur. Today, I will teach you about Seed Act and Rules. Seed Act 1966. As we know, that Indian Seed Act 1966 enacted and enforced on 2nd October 1969. The main requirement to enact Seed Act was to regulate the quality of seeds on open market regarding its genetic beauty, physical beauty and germination standards as well as vigor and viability. Other sale procedures are also required because as the advent of genetic engineering, genetic uh, modification, we can say for plant breeding efforts, uh, newer varieties came out during the real revolution and at that time few varieties were there but due to their increased demand people have started malpracticing and black marketing of seeds and spurious quality of seeds was there on the market so to control or to check that varieties or kind of varieties government has enacted seed at 96 its main Points are enacted in 1966 and enforced in 2nd October 1969. It is applicable whole in India, comprises states and union territories. It has 25 sections. Indian seed legislation broadly divided into two groups. First is sanctioning legislation where different bodies have to be formed for manipulating or formation of rules and regulations. And second is the regulatory legislation where the rules which were formed by the sanctioning bodies have to be enforced by the quality controlling bodies where different type of bodies are made like SSCA, SSCA state seed certification agencies, SSTL state seed testing laboratories, CSTL central seed testing laboratories and foundation and certified seed programs were there. Other important body are central seed committee which has the power to make rules regarding seeds and different seed certification agencies of foreign origin were also notified by government of india as a seed certification agency other sscb state seed certification board central seed certification board which were added on 1972 after the amendment of seed act 1972 where the last provision was that an appellate authority provisioning is required to, uh, to, to appeal to the seed growers where their grievances are <coughs> finalized or manipulated where quality control under seed act this is the main point where quality control under seed act with the three points led Minimum limit and labeling of the seeds is required. What was the minimum limit should be? And what is the seed certification procedure should be done? And there is third import and import restriction was impo uh, were <coughs> there to regulate the seed quality. So firstly we deal regarding the minimum limit and labeling of the seed. This is the key point where pre and post marketing control has to be made means to say before marketing the seeds on the field conditions and after marketing on the counter conditions we have to check it it has the power to notify kind or varieties under section 5 with the consultation of central seed committee and its subcommittees the Central Seed Committee is the main powerful committee constituted under Seed Act which has the power to make rules regarding its purity, germination and other things according to the notification standard. Means to say any of the variety can't be come under seed certification until and unless it was notified by government. Next, labeling provisions means to say the container, the bag which has a certified seed, which has a quality seed must be labeled with the approved labeling procedures and it is mentioned under section 6a where its size, 
color, tag, color and other details must be there like beauty percentage, generation percentage, inert matter and other things should be there. Next is seed testing is very much required where purity percentage, genetic purity percentage, physical purity, germination, viability figure must be assessed by single seed, state seed testing laboratories, central seed testing laboratories which were under section 41 and 42 of seed act next is the appointment of seed analyst or seed testing officer appointed under section of of seed act 12 is there seed analyst is a key person which finalize the quality of seed by seed testing practicals or procedures seed inspector is the next key person which is appointed under section 13 of seed act and the seed inspector is a public servant under section 21 of IPC 45 of 1860. So the first point minimum limit and labeling of seeds are maintained through these important checkpoints where seed analysts, inspectors, seed testing, labeling are there to control their quality. The next is seed certification. The main purpose of seed certification. Seed certification as we know it is also called the Pramanic Beach in Hindi. So what is certified seeds? All those notified kind or varieties which was certified by any seed certification agencies constituted or enacted under seed act or called as certified seed. So, Government is notified, government is notified seed certificate agencies of different states. Its objective is to maintain the high quality propagating material of seed. What do you mean by high quality? Any type of seed or propagule which has high germination standards, high genetic purity standards, high physical purity standards, high vigor, high viability, all these attributes which are very much required in seed germination or called as high quality seeds. The seed certification procedure should follow the Indian minimum seed certification standard and other certification procedures. Next, variety only certified notified under section 5 are eligible. Means to say, no any type of variety which is not notified comes under seed certification means to say a variety which is notified by government of India is only eligible to get certified otherwise there is no chance next breeding seed is not under its particle it is mean to say that the breeding seed or progenic beach it is not a type of certified seed because it is maintained by the breeder itself so Breeder ensues a scent percent genetic beauty, physical beauty, and other quality attributes. So, this type of seed need not to be certified by seed certification agencies. So, it is not in the purview. The next is foundation seed and certified seeds. Foundation is the second after the breeder, and certified is the second after the foundation. So, these seeds are come under the purview of seed certification agencies of the seed act. So, if anyone asks about certified seeds, so, our answer must be certified seeds are of two classes. First, certified foundation seed and the next second is certified seeds. Next, as per the demand, stage 1 or stage 2 may follow. As I uh, did you earlier that as per the demand of the concerned popular variety, if the seed variety is on short supply, we may go to stage 2 process for the production otherwise we may stuck to stage 1 process for the seed production cycles so this is the second quality check of seed certification for the quality control under the seed act next third export and import of the um, export and import restrictions so export and import restrictions must be imposed by the seed act for the reasons that in our country no variety is imported by other countries having 
लो जर्मिनेशन लो प्यूरिटी एंड लो क्वालिटी एट्रीब्यूट ऑन द सेम वे इफ वी आर एक्सपोर्टिंग सम वेराइटी दैट वेराइटी मस्ट पजेजेस द क्वालिटी एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ सीड्स टू द एक्सपोर्टिंग कंट्रीज सो दैट और सीड क्वालिटी मस्ट बी हाई अंडर दिस there's a one section 1617 defines that to control the export and import restriction unless purity percentage germination percentage conformity was there under section 6 of the seed act no export or import could be done the third is prescribed labeling is very much required for any export or import varieties or notified varieties under this section also seed as an essential commodity declared under the essential seed essential uh, commodity act 1955 in this section there is a main term the seed control order 1983 was uh, <coughs> enacted afterwards after 1966 because as the seed came to the market after field it is happening through different chains the chain must be wholesaler a retailer or other petty shopkeepers but they are not sometime following the proper standards of sale provision so seed control order was enacted to seed control order was enacted to control the quality of seed first to regulate the sale procedure next supply and distribution of seed chains is also taken off in this issuance of license is the first and foremost procedure means to say a shopkeeper or seller who is involved in the sale of seed must have a valid license and a valid license is given to the shopkeeper or seller after paying the fees to the concerned licensing authority the next is renewal whenever the license is going to be <coughs> lasted so before uh, lapsing of the license renewal has to be done by paying 25 rupees fees as a renewal fees licensing authority is devised by the state government as deemed fit by the state government time limit by the lapse is also mentioned in the seed control order means to say what is the minimum time required by a seed testing lab to give its report is also mentioned cancellation if a license is taken by a retailer or a shopkeeper by misrepresentation of the fact the licensing authority has a power to cancel his license but last but not least the appeal procedure is also given because if a shopkeeper or retailer feels that some grievances regarding the injustice made to him he may appeal to the appealing authority regarding the injustice happening to him in the seed control there are few more things i have to clear that a different type of procedure made by the government like a opening and closing stock on a board has to be made what is the present situation of the seed is there approximate quintals is there so a seller have to transparent regarding the sale procedures means to say he has a specific methodology for sale as it is devised by the government so it is a way by seed control order government wants that a farmers or a small or marginal farmers should get quality seeds should get quality seeds in a transparent manner at any corner of the country so this is a zest about seed act and rules <coughs> and uh, thank you for listening me i will come with my next video thank you